guess he's got a job. I got a job. <laughs> so, okay, the writing's not good. Just had an interview today and I got the position. Yeah. And I've been working on and off and this job is gonna be another temporary job. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it, to be honest. I was trying to come up with excuses and justification of like, oh, I think I might be able to utilize that time better by doing something else instead of committing to full-time job for two months. Like... Over the last couple of years, I think I've gotten to learn about myself and to know myself better. I'm still learning, but I now see a pattern that I fall into. When I have to try something new for the first time, I fall into this trap of self-doubt. This endless thoughts of worries and what-ifs and I probably should or shouldn't. It just never ends. It might be keep running uh, in the background of my thought, but I try to shut it down. So instead of worrying about it, I try to think, how can I make this decision, this choice, a good one? So you, you have as little regret as possible. Now I tell myself, if you don't forget why you started something, if you don't forget why you made that decision in the first place, then you'll do fine. You have the resilience in you. You have all these capabilities to get this done. You're just scared because you haven't done it or you're not good at it yet, but you will get better and you will learn to get better. Easier said than done, but at least it's better than not saying any of those encouraging words to ourselves, right? I just start with that. And I just hope when I feel down, I don't forget this moment that I had with myself. You got this. I know you can do this. You have it in you. I know it. And I truly believe that we have all these abilities within us. We just haven't unlocked it yet. Like unlocking characters in a video game. You just gotta get enough experience and we'll get it. You will get there. I will get there. We'll get there together. Peace. <laughs> I think I can do a pretty good job. Is this me bluffing? I don't know. I, I guess we'll find out soon because I'll be start working in two days. Am I ready? Nope. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but for a fresh start, I like to have my environment set up freshly as well just so that I'm ready to just take on whatever that comes my way instead of worrying about oh, I need to clean that or this. I don't know, I'll just show you what my current state of room is. It's a little embarrassing, but gotta start from somewhere. So this is the mess that I have to deal with. We're gonna clean this. We're gonna start from a fresh mindset, fresh environment. Don't wanna clean, but I know I have to. Step one completed. Okay, I'm actually gonna do like a deep cleaning. Like a spring cleaning so I put all my clothes away and go through all the drawers and the bookshelf that I have right next to my bed <laughs> yeah not looking the best but I'll clean that so I want my whole room to be clutter free so my mind becomes clutter free as well because right now when I walk into my room it's a little bit of uh, chaos and I don't feel very good about it. My coping mechanism when it comes to feeling anxious is cleaning because I can control the situation. Whereas things that I'm nervous about, I don't have control over or I think that I don't have control over. So I try to look for things that I can have full control over, which is cleaning my room. I'm showing the room who's in charge. I don't even know what I'm saying, but 
Let's just get started, all right? You know when people go like, they, they, they jump and they land and it's like a different scene. So I'm gonna try, because I've always wanted to do it. Let me give it a try. We're ready. Weapon of choice. I mean, one second. Okay. Weapon of choice. <laughs> Swiffer. And then duster. Duster from Swiffer. Yes. Some um, cloth and alcohol for cleaning purposes. So that I don't need chemical to clean the surfaces. And plastic bag so that I can throw away stuff that I don't need. But I've been keeping for way too long. Final weapon. Music. <laughs> Connected to this MacBook Pro. Cleaning mode activated. What I've recommended to people is clean up your room. That's a good start. Organize your local landscape. Schedule your time. Start taking control of yourself. See if you can stop saying things you know to be lies. Stop saying things that violate your conscience. Stop saying and doing things that make you feel weak. Because all you have to do is pay attention to that. Some things you do will make you feel disintegrated. It's a physiological sensation. I would say that's where, where people should start. You start small. It's not small. You think it's small. It's not small. I had a girl come up to me last night at the end of my talk. She said, I started cleaning up my room last year and it completely changed my life. She said, your room is an externalization of your mind. And that's right. That's exactly true. To the degree that you're in your room, the room is you. So straighten up what you can straighten up and quit saying things that make you feel weak. And then, then you'll know what to do next. <laughs>